Hey guys, got another video here for you. This one's called Advanced PC Shield 2012. This is a rogue and it's got a nasty rootkit embedded into it. The rootkit is a 32 bit and a 64 bit version. So if you've got a 64 bit operating system thinking you're safe, then you're not because it will infect. I'm seeing this quite often nowadays with the old 64 bit versions. But um, yeah, I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for this actual sample because without those guys, I couldn't uh, do this video for you, so thanks to those. And uh, what we're going to do is have a look at some of the programs that we could use to actually remove this. Okay. So first off, let's have a look at the program itself. As you can see, it's doing a bogus scan here. This all this stuff is not on your system. It's trying to frighten you into buying or purchasing this product. Okay. And also, it stops you running certain programs. Works like zero access in a way to stop you uh, running programs to kill it, and then you want to purchase it. Okay. Now I've got a registration key for this which will allow you to uninstall that program and it will uninstall the rootkit as well which is very good so I'll put that up at the end of the video. So first off let's look at the activation as you can see Advanced PC Shield 2012 this is the rogue part of it uh, and as you can see the PC Shield Pro payment page it's changed so there's a little bit of a mistake there so do not pay for these types of things, they are fake as I said. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, have a look at where it lives. So we're going to go to my computer. The first thing I'm going to do is show hidden files and folders. So I'm going to go into this location and then I'm going to go into the view button there. And also put the dot inside show hidden files and folders and take the tick out of hide extensions. Okay, now I can actually show you where the actual virus lives, it lives inside the uh, users and then the user account that's infected and then application data or app data and then you've got local. Inside there you'll see a file, this is the file uh, that we need to delete ok, just get rid of that one, that's nothing to do with it. Ok so this is a file that we need to delete and uh, let me show you the, where the actual rootkit resides, that's inside your windows directory and inside system 32 if I come down to system 32 and inside the drivers folder you will see a rootkit in there okay this is the rootkit I know that's the rootkit but uh, if you go to delete it it won't allow you to delete as you can see and uh, if you try to rename it as well it won't allow you to rename even if I go right over the file extension as well okay it won't let me do it so what we're going to do is if we're going to use two programs unhack me and uh, ESETS uh, removal tool now if I did ESETS tool it will remove it all on its own but I want to use unhack me as well because this actually shows me what's happening on the system whereas this removal tool doesn't as soon as I boot this up you'll see straight away when I say check me straight away it says it's an infection there okay so what I did was I started to use this file which was off of ESET which is free and it will remove it. What it does is it puts a system file, .sys file inside your drivers folder and it allows you to remove it. So what we're going to do is say yes to this part. I just want to move that down there so you can see. So what I want to do here is uh, say yes to this. We want to perform a cleaning process. So it wants to put a driver in there. And say yes to this. Driver installed successfully. A two bit uh, box here. I'm going to reboot the system now. Okay, you can now see Reg Run running, which is the other program, Unhack Me. Okay, it's now saying you have a number of suspicious programs, and now we can uh, remove this by fixing this problem. This is that reg run. Okay, this is unhack me program. I'm going to say uh, fix the problems and find out what they are. It's creating a system restore point, which is good. That's the file there. Okay, get me out of here, or get it out of here. Okay, I'm going to say yes to that as well. I'm going to delete this file, that is the actual rootkit there, I want to delete that 
it's also found this here, truesight.sys. I'm going to get that out there as well. I'm going to restart now. I'm going to delete that one as well. And that one. I'm going to delete that. And that one. Okay, so we're going to delete those files and then we're going to reboot the system. So reboot the computer. And there you can see the files being deleted. Safe deleting those files. Okay, this wants to now run this removing tool. So if I did run that, you'll see it will remove that file, but it's already done the job at the uh, locations now to make sure they're gone. And as you can see, that file's now gone. I'm going to go to Windows and System32. And we're going to go to the Drivers folder. And as you can see, that rootkit has now gone. Okay. Now, theoretically, we could uh, delete the uh, file if we wanted to, or reset. But I'm just going to leave that file there for now, as it's not hurting anyone. This is the unhack me version. You can see that. That's the unhack me driver. So what we can do now is just check with uh, TDSS Killer, and you'll probably see this will probably run okay now, like it has, because the rootkit is now gone. As you can see, it's now clean, and you can probably find out that Gmail will probably run okay now, like that, okay? That's because the rootkit's gone. It couldn't load the driver to get you to delete that file. So you always have to use other ways sometimes. That's why it's always best to use different types of software. Okay. Okay, what I'll do next is I would run a full scan with Malwarebytes just to make sure the system is fully cleaned. I'd go up to update and I'll check for updates and I'd run a full scan on the system, okay, and run that scan and make sure everything's all cleaned. If you're finding stuff here, you're still infected with other types of uh, malware and you need to start using other software as well, okay? So what I'm going to do is I would leave that running and then um, use other types if I was still infected. Okay, so as you can see, that's now all finished off. So I'm going to quickly close that off. I'm going to quickly infect the system and show you the uninstall process as well. Okay, so I've reinfected the system with the uh, same rogue and what I'm going to do is show you the actual registration process to get rid of it okay now this may not work for you but if it does it's going to save you a lot of hassle is and you can see the rootkit inside there I'm not going to use that this time what I'm going to do is show you the registration process so what I'm going to do is going to go up to registration here and go to menu activation and I'm going to open up the registration key which is this key here and as soon as I do this it should copy across like so And with that registered, you'll see the buttons disappear up here. It's saying it's now registered. I've got maximum protection. Wow. So it's still infected. Okay, it's still there. But the difference is we can now go to add and remove programs. Because we've registered it, it will now show up inside here. And I can actually uninstall this program now. Click OK. It will re reboot. We'll let this boot back up and that infection will be gone. The rogue will be gone and also the rootkit will be gone. Okay, so we're at the desktop here now. And that should be pretty much all gone. Now if it isn't gone and it doesn't work for you, then you can always run scans after that. The rootkit should be now gone. We'll quickly scan with TDSS Killer. 
and uh, you will see that that is now working and also I'll quickly fire up unhack me just to prove to you that it is actually gone there you go no Trojans found okay anyway I think that will be the end of this video guys I know it's a long one so sorry about that I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button show your support and also rate and favorite for all my videos okay and I'll be making more videos in the future so thanks again for your support guys bye for now